Hi everyone. This is Chaitanya Puri. Do you sometimes feel trapped, lost, out of control, frustrated, unheard? Or maybe you feel that you're just doing some things to please others and not yourself? Well, if the answer is yes, I think you're not being true to yourself. What I want to discuss with you today is something that's often not discussed in Indian homes, being authentic and true to yourself. From a very young age, unfortunately, we're just told to be normal, even by people who, who you know, wish well for us, like our elders and our parents, everybody around us. So the expectation is really to be generally similar to the people around us. But what we forget here is that it's not easy to be different. The reason we resist to act differently is because we fear that we may not be liked by our peers. And as humans, there are very few things that scare us more than being rejected or not liked by our peers. Therefore, one has to be brave to be authentic because we are risking our likability. As Steve Jobs, a name synonymous with Apple, once said, when you look at the competition, don't think how I can do it better. Think how I can do it differently. There's a very interesting book called The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying by Brony Ware. You know, what was the number one regret? It was, I wish I had the courage to live a life true to me and not the life others expected of me. So the question is, how do we then be more authentic to ourselves? I want to suggest five steps for this. First, customize your own value and beliefs. Take the most inspiring and positive values and beliefs around you and customize it for your own personality and your life. You don't have to blindly follow something that people tell you. For example, if you see a person who is very wealthy and who gives huge amounts of money to charity, you can take the value system of giving back to charity. And if you do not have that much money to give to charity, volunteer somewhere, but you're still giving to charity, right? Second, talents and skills. Find what brings you happiness. Develop your talents and skills in what will fulfill you. You would build more confidence in your abilities and will be able to be more true to yourself if you know that you have built your own talents and skills. Third, appreciate your uniqueness. Now, where's the fun in life, guys, if, if everyone's the same, you know? Like they say, variety is the spice of life. There's a reason that there is only one of you. So build on your own uniqueness. Find out what your uniqueness is and build on that. Many people, believe me, could, could benefit from your uniqueness. So don't rob people of that gift that you can share. All right. The fourth very important point is don't seek constant approvals. This is a huge reason why people choose to stay in a comfort zone, in a safe zone, so to speak. People who need constant approvals don't venture out of their comforts. If you get rid of that need of being liked by everybody, you'll develop the courage to be authentic to yourself because somewhere down the line, you'll realize you cannot be liked by everybody. But the most important person who has to like you is yourself. So don't seek approval from everybody. The fifth very important point is dare to dream. Uh, now you remember as a child, we wanted to be astronauts, rock stars, scientists, athletes, but somewhere down the line, we all became realists. We became realists to do things which we had to do rather than want to do. Build that capacity to dream again and think larger than your current circumstances. Guys, this is very, very important. The more you dream and let your thoughts be organic and uncontrolled, the more authentic you get. Now, these are five fairly simple steps, but very, very important steps for you to be true to yourself. Remember, 
सेल्फ एक्सेप्टेंस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप टू सेल्फ इंप्रूवमेंट एंड सेल्फ एक्सेप्टेंस कैन ओनली बी अचीव बाई बींग ट्रू टू योर सेल्फ सो मेक श्योर दैट यू नेवर यूज बींग ऑथेंटिक एज एन एक्सक्यूज फॉर बैड हैबिट्स एंड शो दैट दैट डजन है If you think of excuses such as "Oh, I'm just lazy," or "I don't believe in being emotional," or "I have anger problems," that is not you being authentic. That is you defending your limiting personality traits. So stay away from that. Don't use that as a crutch. Personality traits that let you be authentic should elevate you from your current level of consciousness. And in no manner should they should, should they bring you down. so i urge you guys to follow these five steps and see yourself become more authentic and certainly more happy i hope this helps all the best